This was once a prosperous town. It was centered around the remnant of peace, the rubber soul. Was there a war? No. The one the remnant was bound to passed away. The world is filled with countless remnants. No two look alike or share the same power. However, they all have one thing in common. And that is? When a remnant is not bound to a soul, it calls forth disastrous misfortune. This calamity is known as the Collapse. Shh! Hide yourselves! I see them. Two men. And a dark-haired little girl. <laughs> What did you do to her? This must be our cue.
It's triggered another collapse! Contain them! Yeah! 
It was as you said, Lord David. The flying creature is unquestionably a remnant. Confirm this with the Academy. Yes, my lord. Who could be behind all this? We do not know enough at this point. Verily, this situation is more complex than we'd imagined. Yes. We should postpone any course of action until we know more. What about Arena? Should I just keep my fingers crossed? We are not dealing with an ordinary foe. A well-researched plan is essential. Dave, come on! Toggle is correct. We are dealing with forces that control a remnant not even the Academy knows about. Jumping to conclusions will only place Arthlam in danger. You must understand my position, Rush. Where are you going? To find Arena, obviously. You know how the people of Athlam are the most important things in your life? Well, Arena's the most important thing in mine. Well, thanks for the help along the way. I'll go it alone from here. Lord David, we still know nothing about his talisman. Perhaps we should have stopped him. Perhaps. I am aware that we need more power, as the Gaybolg and Valeria heart won't suffice. The future of Athnum is at stake here. Arena. Feeling better? Picky eater, huh? Sorry the menu's not fit for a princess like you. Hey. Rush. Rush is dead. <gasps> Stop mourning the dead and eat your meal. You are vital to him. You should be honored. Hey, wait up! 
How long are we gonna keep her like that? Let's just hand her over. You pity her? This whole deal makes me sick. She's just a kid. I am merely following the Lord's orders, as you should follow mine. Fine. Then give me some real orders. I'm sick of being a damn babysitter. As you wish. Let us go forth to the next remnant.
to me.
Okay, later. That is all, Lord David. I pray for your success. You're here. Who is that? Uh, uh, yes, a messenger from Celepolé, uh, sent by the Duke of Kubine. He wanted to warn us about some unidentified troops invading Blackdale. He believes they're troops from the Duke of Gore. We are to look into it immediately. But I thought Blackdale belonged to Athlum. Why is this guy butting into your business? Uh, it was merely a request, not an order. And although we are allies, Athlum is actually under the control of Sela Pule. We have little say. Huh. So what do you need me for? You will be joining us in our investigation. Why is that? Argus? Yes. <clears throat> According to the report, the troops from Gore that entered Blackdale were led by a mage dressed in white. Not only that, but they were accompanied by a flying remnant. That sounds like someone we know. Like those guys we saw at Dilmore. We must make haste. Prepare for departure at once. Wait, you're going? Aren't you too important for this? I was requested to go as well. And if nothing else, it should satisfy my curiosity. We are leaving for Blackdale immediately. Is that clear? Yes, yes my lord. lord.
jackpot! Dave! I am David Nassau, the Marquis of Athlum. Your presence here is regarded as an act of aggression against Athlum. Lay down your arms immediately and state your name and intentions. If you fail to comply, we shall have no choice but to use deadly force. I shall give you only one chance. Surrender now! What are you doing? The scolding isn't gonna stop guys like that. So be it. We shall make them rue the day they stepped into Athlum. All men, charge!
Damn it! After him! It's just a whisper. Later. Later.
Irina, you must bind this remnant to yourself. You must release its power. For that power will change the world. Why, it might even bring back the dead. You mean... We'd like to see your brother again, wouldn't we? Rush, they have a hostage. You must stay calm. But... Listen, these people are dangerous, and we don't know what they're capable of. Well, well, if it isn't the Marquis of Athlon. You know of me? How fortunate. Your acts of aggression have not gone unnoticed. We know how you manipulated both the Rubber Soul and the Skiavona. And let's not forget the kidnapping. Your actions are in violation of congressional decree. And for this, you will be punished. Both of us are men of reason, Marquis. A man of your stature surely realizes the... impracticality of certain laws. But I understand. We shall withdraw, if that is your wish. We shan't dare do anything to put you out. Will that be all? No. You will release her and surrender immediately. Do you think we won't harm you just because you're the Marquis of Athlum? Your confidence implies you are not alone. Who is your ally? The Duke of Gore, perhaps? <laughs> By now, you must be aware of the Academy's response, or lack thereof. You? You're part of the Academy? <laughs> My dear Marquis, Irina is special. Her parents desperately wish for her to take part in our research. She has finally come to understand that. We merely got off on the wrong foot. Liar! You're full of it! Arena, I know you don't want to be here, but it's okay now. I'm here. It's me, Rush, your brother. It's a shame they do not share the same power. Marquis, would you be so kind as to babysit your brash young friend for the time being? Consider it a helping hand in our research. Rush, stand down. No, I'm gonna go save my sister. Marquis, I believe it would be in your best interest to stop your little friend. Otherwise, I fear your life may be in peril. I find your story hard to swallow. You will come with us to Athlum to confirm this with the Academy. You do not take my word as fact. Very well. Perhaps I shall convince you by force!
how you like that! Come!
Well, well. It seems I've underestimated you. The hell? You can't kill him! He's the goddamn Marquis of Atham! It makes no difference. He cannot unlock the true power of the remnants. He is merely fuel for their fire. Ancient magics bound to my call. Within the void, envelop all! How dare you! Rush, get out of here! Arena? Wait! Get back! It's caving in! Damn it! Arena! Let me go! What's up, Fall back! Arena! So, not only do you let this mysterious creature slip through your fingers, but you're also clueless as to its affiliation and its purpose? <sighs> A fine report this is! My word, is Athlum completely powerless over its own territory? Ah, it seems the apple does fall far from the tree. I shall report this back to the Duke at once. Good day. The nerve of that guy. Someone ought to pound some manners into him. Come now, calm down. Why the false report to the Duke? Ah, you believe those men are connected to the Academy. You don't. The Academy conducts research in a number of fields. Rumors would indicate that includes forbidden experimentation with remnants. It is possible that our mage in white is connected. And the Academy holds tremendous influence across the world. Celepole is no exception. You don't think the Duke of Kubine is involved in this? I don't know. But until I do, we're playing it safe. I don't want Kubai knowing our strategy just yet. Understood. But do take care not to overplay your hand. If Athlum is lost, those machinations of yours will be for naught. That I know. Ah, oh, I thought he'd never let me go. Couldn't sleep? I... I couldn't save her. Damn it! Marina, I... What am I supposed to do now? Rush, you need to calm down. Irina is alive. How do you... After we left, a strange flying creature was seen leaving Blackdale. A girl was spotted as well. After comparing a few more reports, we are certain it was Arena. Uh, for real? I had Pargus confirm it personally. Without a doubt, your sister lives, Rush. What is it? Even if she's alive, I'm not strong enough to save her. Pull yourself together, Rush. You need to keep whatever strength you do have. <clears throat> if you won't save her, who will? You're right. 
I've got to find a way. As I said, I'll help you as much as I can. It's still far too early to give up hope. Dave, thanks. Yes, well, that Wagram character implied he was an Academy member. If that's true, it means this plot is much deeper than we imagined. You cannot face it alone. Moreover, Irina saved us. I owe her my life, and men of Athlam always repay their debts. Are you sure it's okay to just help us like that? Torkel's not gonna be happy. <laughs> Cleaning up my messes is his job. Has been since I was a baby. Oh man, that's gross. Once we learn where that flying creature is headed, I'll let you know. Okay, I'll keep an eye out too. Lord David, you still intend to look into this matter? Of course. As if I would allow such low fiends to sully Athlam. That mage. Find out who that Wagram really is. Even if it means shaking up the Academy. Yes, my lord. There you are. What's going on? Rush, the Congress will be holding a session in Illusion several days from now. The Congress? What's that? Put simply, the Congress is a group that makes sure the world plays nice. Once every few years, the Lords meet and discuss pressing matters. We'll be heading to Illusion as well. So, you just called me here to say goodbye? <laughs> Oh, no. On the contrary, traveling with us should be a free ticket into Illusion. <sighs> Gaining entrance to Illusion during a Congress year is especially difficult. And let's not forget the increased security, what with the influx of important figures. So if I can get to Illusion, I can go to the Academy. Huh, Dave? That's absolutely mint! Huh. 
though who knows if Lord David will even be invited to the assembly meeting. What do you mean? Usually, only the most powerful leaders are called to the Congress. It's likely that a young successor like me won't be asked to participate. Did you piss someone off? <laughs> Not yet. I've merely been asking around about someone who might be responsible for the shady dealings at the Academy. Who? Oh. Top man at the Academy and chairman of the Congress. The Lord of Nagapur, Duke Wilfred Air Mayan. Wilfred Air Mayan, huh? So that's the guy who took Arena? That's what I aim to find out. Lord David! The House of Air Mayan has chaired the Congress for generations. If provoked, they will not hesitate to turn all the lords against you. The late Marquis made painstaking efforts to maintain peaceful relations with the chairman. If you would only consider what is best for Athlon. <laughs> so, I still cannot compare to my father, hmm? Enough discussion. We'll continue this when we reach Illusion. Begin preparations to leave. Yes, yes my, my lord. lord. Hey, Dave. What is it? Uh... Nothing. Never mind. Catch you later. Hmm. So this is the girl. Yes, my lord. So you're the big man in charge. Just what do you want from me? <laughs> Feisty one, this is. Just like her mother. You know my mother? <laughs> I loathe such women. Women are meant to be servile. And you are of no exception, so don't you dare speak to me in that manner again, unless you wish to be fed to Harpilia. My lord. Oh, I only jest. They wouldn't dream of treating her like the others. This one is irreplaceable, after all. You must treat her well, Wagon. Yes, my lord. <laughs> 